Hey guys, how you doing? This is Heather. Um, today we're going to do a plan with me for June 5th through the 11th. Um, I apologize if you hear my fan. I live in Florida and it's very warm in my house. Um, today we're going to use the kit Hand Can Plan. Um, love this kit. Love all the flowers. I really love the rain boots, which you'll see in a little bit that we're going to use. We're going to start with the sidebar. So I'm going to grab my white out and cover up the June. There it goes. Cover up the white out. And does anybody else have to like push it down with your finger sometimes? It just wants to like come back up. So you'll see me push, push, push. Keep pushing. All right, and then we'll put the stickers down for the sidebar. So we'll cover up the June first with a full box and then add um, the meal plan for the week and the habit trackers. Um, there's not too much going on this week, so planner-wise, it may be kind of simple. Um, but I love this kit, love the colors. Like I said, I really love the rain boots. You'll see those in actually just a minute. Um, so we put down the meal plan and then put down the habit trackers. Um, I'm really bad about tracking in the habit trackers. So Hand Can Plan does the like habit tracker portion and then a quarter box so I combine them um, which I think was her idea but anyways I combine them um, so that they uh, like partner up I think they look super cute like that I'm gonna turn my fan off in case the vo the sound is distorting anything so we're gonna put down one more habit tracker um, I'm excited for June. The hubby and I have a just a short trip planned um, uh, near the end of June uh, just to get out of town, do a long weekend. Super excited for the time off from work, you know, all that kind of stuff. All right, now we're going to feel it, f fill in the meal plan. You're going to see it looks kind of weird. My husband and I take turns cooking. Um, and I like to keep it simple um, because right now I'm just cooking for myself and my grandmother and then my husband cooks for himself. Um, it's kind of complicated, but it works for us and to me that's what's most important. Okay, so I wasn't sure what we were doing for the weekend, so I skipped down and fill in the habit trackers. I do one for my medications I have to take and then one um so I clean a room a day um I keep hoping it's going to work for me but I've tried different things and um it seems to be the best option and then the last tracker is for my PM routine one of the things I've learned about the routines is like you'll see someone's AM routine and like they do all the things they, like, live a whole day in just their AM routine. And I'm like, I am not that um, functional that early in the morning. I'm lucky to get out of bed and go to work. So, what I realized is, like, your routine is your routine. So, like, my AM routine is, like, get up, put some clothes on, feed the dog, you know, and, like, get to work. It's, I... There's not a lot. You don't have to do all the things. I think you do what works for you. And so I really realized that with my PM routine because I was trying to do um, all the things. Um, these stickers I'm showing you are from Chrissy Ann Design. Pulled in a couple from there just to like give that um, floral box some personality besides the flowers. So we flip the planner over. You'll notice at the top, I kind of white out the ends of the days. It's because the day 
stickers aren't long enough to cover it up in my planner. Um, I have an hourly Erin Condren. And so I just white it out um, and then put the sticker down and it seems to work fine. Um, the only downside is do when I do have to pick up a sticker, it sometimes picks up the white out. And so that is not always fun. Um, but anyways, there you go. Go ahead and put them down. But yeah, as I was saying about the PM routine, um, I created one that works for me. Um, I'm still not 100% about doing it every day, but, you know, you do what you can. So you're going to see in a minute, I'm going to try to pick these stickers up because it's terribly crooked. And, uh, you know, if you look quickly, the whiteout has picked up too. Um, but it was enough that it's like, okay, it's not the end of the world. We'll stick it back down. The sticker will cover it up. That's what's most important, right? No one knows the secrets under the stickers. Okay, so now we're going to put down the weekend banner. I love the font in this. It's so pretty. I also really love the navy blue in this kit. I like it a lot. Okay, so now we're going to put down the washi tape sticker to add some color and some decor. One thing I really love about hand can plan stickers is that um, sometimes in sticker kits, if you weren't to include the full boxes or the washi tape sticker, you would have just colored boxes essentially like there really wouldn't be a theme within the stickers um they'd all kind of be you know colors that went together but besides that you would kind of miss something but i really like that she includes a lot of pattern boxes too and so even if you were okay so this little thing i'm showing you my husband actually got me there's a little tiny razor blade at the end he got it on amazon um i'll try to find it and link it below um, but it has, like, anyways, it has a little razor and it cuts things for me. There you go. Um, but anyways, yeah, I love that. Even if you left out, because I didn't used to use full boxes. Um, I used to just use, like, the functional boxes within kits. And so I really like that if you left out full boxes, you still would have... A theme going. So now I'm going to put down quarter boxes across the top. Um, I work a full-time job, like eight to five job, and um, it didn't used to be eight to five, um, but it more so is now. But um, there's nothing required from the job that, like, I would put in a planner except for the hours I actually work. So that's why I put down the full down full boxes and then the quarter boxes with the time that I start work. Um, like I said, I didn't used to. I used to work, like, 2 to 10, 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, and there's a change of shift that possibly is happening soon, so the hours may change again, but for now... These are what my hours are. So we're going to add a couple more full boxes to fill in the hours, like I said, when I work. Um, did you notice the rain boots yet? <laughs> Hopefully you did. They're on Monday on a full box sticker. I, I don't know what it is. I really have something about rain boots that I just love. Pretty, pretty rain boots. Okay, so I'm going through the stickers now off the side, which you can't see. You can kind of peep the corner there, sticking out. Um, trying to figure out what I'm filling in for the weekend. So I'm creating my to-do list. There's always a to-do list on the weekends. Um... I wish sometimes there wasn't, but I feel like adulting is never ending. 
And if you're like me, I always have a running list in my head of things that have to be, not even have to be, that I want to be accomplished. Um, it can be really annoying sometimes. Okay, so now I'm putting down the day for the trash. Um, I kind of do it as a reminder to myself. Technically, it's my husband's job to take it out. But I like to remind myself so I can remind him to make sure it goes out. Um, cause you know, garbage has got to go. And I think now I'm just trying to figure out what else to put. When I was recording this, I, um, didn't know what our plans were yet for the weekend. Um, and when I'm doing the voiceover, it actually is that weekend. And there... Um, plans changed drastically from what I thought was going to happen versus what did. <coughs> um, I don't often do this, but I decided to use the dots from the kit. I liked how they matched, um, the kit so well, but you're actually going to see me, um, in a minute, pick up these dots again because I realized, like, oh, I could do this differently and it would look so nice. Not that the dots on the page don't look nice, but I thought they looked better the way I did it. Um, you'll see in just a minute. And then I'm really annoyed at myself because I have to pick up these dots. Um, and if you've used dots like this before, you know that they're not always easy to get up. Because they're so little. So this is me realizing like, oh, I should put them down on the half box. And then um, it would look better. Because I'm like, I have all these half boxes. So that's what I do. So I realize like, oh, by Thursday. Oh, yeah, we should do that. So then I go back, flip it back over, and pick up all the dots. And it definitely ends up being more of a hassle than I thought. Okay, now we have those fixed. Now we can continue planning. So, um, first thing I'm going to do is put down the half box on Friday because I'm not sure what I'm doing. And then I'm going to put down, um, I think it's like an eighth of a box to uh, mark the nights I have to make dinner. Or come up with dinner, as I like to say. Um, cause I hate cooking. So <laughs> sometimes I'd rather just, you know, um, buy dinner instead of having to cook. So I'll put down the boxes for the days I have to do that, which are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So you'll see me add those. Um, these are eighth of a box, right? Is that right? Is that marked down in the, um, comments if I'm wrong? <laughs> Um, so I'm just putting a note in here, make dinner, and I use, like, to use my Paper Mate Flare in black. It's, like, thick enough that I, it's, like, substantial. I don't like super thin writing, um, but not so thick that it bleeds through everything. Love it. Okay, so I put the pen down, I think. And then we're going to add in a sticker for Sunday so I can mark what I'm going to do on Sunday. Um, but I can already tell you, <laughs> um, at some point I lift that sticker up because I find another one that I like better for the purposes. 
So the sticker I'm getting ready to put down, we sometimes play poker with my grandmother and father-in-law. I know it sounds interesting, but we do on Thursday. And so I write that in there. Um, but we actually did not play this week. Um, I think it was just disorganized. We didn't plan accordingly. So now I'm trying to decide what else I'm doing for the planner. So I'm going to put down a box for my planner time. I try to do it either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Lately, it ends up being Sunday because I try to do too much on Friday night and Saturday. Um, and this weekend especially was not an exception. This weekend, my job mentioned at the end of the week that they were offering overtime. So, Friday night, Saturday night, I worked overtime. I was going to work Sunday night, um, but I actually canceled it. So, this is when I realized I have another full box sticker that I like better for the purposes on Sunday. And so, I'm going to put that down. And so this weekend, um, besides the overtime, I actually spent my weekend pulling out my 4th of July decor because I love decorating my house. Um, I filmed a video. I um, actually ordered some stuff from Shein. I've never ordered from them before. And so we'll say part one of my order came in. Um, part two hopefully is supposed to be here soon. So I filmed the items I got. I'm actually really excited. Everything worked out. And, um, or should I say spoiler, everything worked out. Um, but I, so I was super excited about that. Um, but anyways, yeah, so I put out my 4th of July decor. I filmed a couple videos. Um, but I don't write any of these in these boxes because, like I said, when I'm doing this, it's actually like the Sunday before. And so um, I didn't know what my plans were going to be for the weekend. And so I didn't actually write it in until Saturday and Sunday were upon us. So now I'm writing in work and all those little quarter box stickers across the top. And then I flip it over. Does anybody else, like, do people actually plan in their planner wide open? Like, I do, I guess, to get the full look. But I definitely plan, like, half at a time where it's, like, normally, like it is now, closed. Or open, I guess. But open only to half the page. Okay. So, I know at this moment I'm trying to figure out what else I'm doing over the weekend. So I add another sticker in for a laundry day. Laundry day. Laundry is never ending. And there's only like two people that I do laundry for and it still feels like it's never ending. Um, I'm also going to add a couple stickers for um, placing a grocery order and picking up a grocery order. So we get our groceries at Walmart. And we, I place the order online and then we go pick it up. And honestly, like, I love it. It's the best thing ever. Um, it's just so convenient. It helps me keep track of, like, how much I'm spending and, you know, deciding, like, okay, maybe we don't really need this or maybe we need more of these. Um, allows me to, like, check the pantry to see, like, okay, do we actually need ketchup this week or, you know, can it wait? Oh, wait, you know, we have an extra bottle, so it can wait. You know, that kind of deal. Um, super handy. I love it. It's one of those things I hope they never take away. So I put a note in there about making a grocery order, and then I'm going to put another sticker in about picking up the grocery order on Sunday, which is what we actually did. We did pick it up. Um, today, today's Sunday, 
and I made it Saturday afternoon. I love the little icon stickers. Um, do you pick it up or do you go in store? Do you do Instacart? Um, how do you do your groceries? Okay, so there's the whole spread. Um, like I said, I love the colors. I'm obsessed with the rain boots. I don't know why. Well, thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And hope you have a great week. Bye.